Hi everyone, welcome to Tea Time with Tonic with me Owen. And me Alison. If you haven't joined us, what is Tea Time with Tonic? Well, Tea Time with Tonic is where we go through you, you know, your cards which you've uploaded to the Tonic Live chat page. Uh, we'll put a link to that page if it's your first time watching, you don't know what that page is and you don't know how to upload a card. We'll let you all know that throughout the course of the show. Uh, what we do is me and Alison just go through have a bit of a chat through the cards. You guys chat along as well uh, at home uh, and we say what we like about each card. Um, and then we have a bit of competition uh, as well. And we've drawn one of the, the cards that we're going to show you today at random earlier. So we got a winner who's going to win um, what will be a mug full of crystal drops now, okay, as well. And then we've got, if you want to join in, by the way, just write in the comments section on the side. Or if you're watching on YouTube as well, just put a comment there. You can watch on YouTube as well if you're struggling to watch on Facebook, for instance. And that's it. And we do a little bit of a technique at the end, which me and Alice are going to do with, with the pens and uh, beautiful blooms. So if Sean's ready and he can get the uh, the cards. It's Sean again today, everyone. So wish him well. Dan is still enjoying this. Yeah, holiday. Dan's still enjoying this holiday. So, right. So here we go. I think he's Justine. Looks Justine's great. been very busy this yeah. week. I absolutely love Baby Room Jar. I know. I they think look he's stunning. Really nicely. That, that's paper piecing, isn't it? That is paper piecing. Yes. It looks nice in the. So each of them with the contrast of the colours, you know, through the red and the... Yeah. So you use red on... Oh, not red on each, on every single no. one. So you use red and... They look a bit like football well, colours. They do look, yeah. <laughs> That's good, yeah. If you got know someone uh, who's into their football... Yeah. Get football, Christmas time. Well, Combination. It's exactly what you need. Happy times. Happy times. They're lovely, Justine. Yeah, really nice, Justine. And, and, and uh, you must be well away with your yeah, Christmas. Uh, your Christmas cards. We, we did see on there, Justine did some tutorials as well for, for you guys. So, you know, helpful as ever, Justine. You know, if, if you guys say watch, you know, that's what the group's there for as well, to show each other how you've done, you know, a bit of technique yeah. for each of you. That's great, Justine. You know, thanks for doing that for, for everyone on there. I'll just try and get your comments up as the internet We've wasn't got working Amanda so well. Here. Amanda here. I think Amanda was our winner yeah, last you, week or this week. Or, yeah, possibly this last week or, or maybe the week before. This is a good one. This is the, uh, the Christmas uh, go Christmas dies on the on the music paper with this the, the It's lovely. That's a celebration just got there with a celebrate Rococo. Our jukebox. Our uh, glass harmony. Mat. A glass mat, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the saxophone dies. Like, saxophone die. like how, harmony something is the music. Yeah, note. perfect harmony yeah, is that's the, it. the miniature moment there. And a miniature moments uh, sentiment. It's lovely. There. Yeah, and really nice. And the saxophone player at the top. And the ribbon goes nice. Yeah, a bit of ribbon spotting for you. Oh. That's a lovely bit top. of ribbon. Lovely bit of ribbon. <laughs> looks like a bit of Burberry. <laughs> if, if you used to say that on everyone, oh, lovely bit of ribbon. I do. I love ribbon. I've got a thing about ribbon. <laughs> Isn't it good? <laughs> this is Tina, who's made a lovely little baby boy. Oh, oh for when your, your grandson, grandson was born. Oh, lovely. Oh, that is gorgeous. I love. Yeah, I love so that. So he's Jack Thomas. Lovely name. I love all this. Like this, you've got so you've got the the sentiment, the the baby sentiments there with the little uh, little, little prince. prince, and you've got the you got the, with the elephants. Have you have they glittered them? Looks that way with a crystal yeah. drop. Yeah. I don't know whether they glittered or whether they're on pearlescent card. It might be. Let us know, uh, Tina. It's a, it's a great card, and and you've got the uh, the garland fair bunting as well on the top that's gorgeous that's right. and a bit of ribbon you again and a bit of ribbon yeah it's got a bit of you ribbon don't, to win the competition you don't necessarily have to <laughs> you know it doesn't have to be you know we don't pick ribbon. cards without ribbon yeah <laughs> did you say large layer and dye yeah oh large yeah and large yeah. layer and dye as well jasmine i forgot this one last week and i had to jasmine go and look at jasmine jasmine dream, jasmine dream that's it oh ja no jasmine sunset, sunset. there sunset. we go yeah. i did have to go and check it <laughs> These are our lovely Rococo presents here, Jenny. Yeah. 
That's a lovely card as well. Yeah, I like the simpleness of the colours there on this one. That's why well. nice got good the crystal drops. They look, they look perfectly round. Those crystal drops as good they as do. as good as yours, Nina. As, 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 <laughs> I don't want to, you know. Well, don't heap too much. Yeah, don't I, 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 I say light. no. I say yes. They they are as they are as good as mine. Better, I would say. They well done, Jenny. It's gorgeous. Oh, we got them. Yeah, keep going. Then yeah, I saw these earlier, down. Linda. Oh, that's that's fair. I that's love a that cool little, one. Little work box. The little work box the and the box. yeah, it is good for yeah for him and hers. It's, yeah. Is that actually metal on the? That looks like it's a. I doubt they do paper like that. Do they do some of those paper? It looks like an embossing folder to me. They probably do do paper like it. That looks like sort of cor yeah sort of corrugated iron sort yeah. of. Yeah, uh, it's cool. It's probably an embossing folder. Again, I like. And them. it looks like a satin satin mirror to it. To yeah, me. Oh, it looks really nice. Linda can comment which card. What? Linda can comment which card. Oh yeah, Linda can comment yeah which which type of card it is. If yeah, let us know, Linda. That'd be great. That's lovely. I'm trying to get your comments up, guys, but uh, internet's not working so great. So as soon as I can, I'll I'll go through your highs and everything. But we'll, we'll crack on with the card. We struggle with internet, yeah. Wow, oh, that's unusual, Carolyn. I think that's Carolyn. Let, let me double check. You won. You won the competition on Wednesday, Carolyn. You haven't messaged me yet, so I'm not sure whether you, you soaked. I knew you said, oh, great show and everything, but I, I didn't know whether you knew you'd won. But you, yeah, Carolyn, you won um, the original Simply Screens on Tonic Live on Wednesday, uh, just so you know. But that's a good one. That's like that's a lovely, dragon's yeah. eye. Yeah. I'm trying to think what it is. That's our Celtic collection. Yeah. And... And there's some... Layer and size there. Yeah. I can't remember the name of that one, I'm afraid. And some just buttons, so like jewels buttons almost. They look like jewels. And it looks yeah. like there's a bit of ribbon underneath the button. Yeah. <laughs> These are blooms. That's lovely, that's so beautiful blue. Uh, no. I think yes, they're the beautiful it blooms, yeah, yes, they are. These are beautiful blooms. Oh, and. Stripped dye. Yeah. Stripped dye. Yeah, nice. The, it's like a metallic look to the beautiful blooms on, on that one. How has is, how is she done that? I think yeah. it's a pearlescent card that she shaped with one of our with one of our, our embossing tools. And that's that's what's given that shaped edge on it. And there's another one from Carolyn. That's, that's the box. The I think. That's the back. Oh, is yeah. it the back? That's lovely. Very nice. Love that colour. Yeah, it's a pearlescent card, that one there is. There we go. On to the next one. Our gingerbread houses. Cal, oh, yeah. these are lovely. Cal. I know there was a nice little message. I think Cal had been working. Um, I don't know what they were to his daughters or, or, or granddaughters. They were they helping. Uh, you have to look at the description, but uh, like helping. I, I read this here in the week, but I had fun making it together. Oh, that's lovely. Yeah, really nice. The little dresses on the gingerbread man. Yeah, I think. Well, I think she asked for a, for a rainbow one. I think was was what she asked for. So that's oh, what Cal made, and it's good. That's lovely. It's good. It's that's really nice. Fab. I mean, it's school holidays now, so get your children involved. I in know, yeah. In. I've seen some statuses where people like, when is the summer holidays are ending? Do you know, like some yeah. people are like, desperate for them to, like, yeah. dip their, I don't know, <laughs> fill, occupying their time is... Uh, I used to try super. so hard with my son to get him into crafting, because I've always been a crafter, but there was nothing. You'd buy him all the stuff at Christmas and it'd still be in the boxes. Crafting chooses you, I think. I like think like a does. Jedi. Yeah. It's like, you know, you've He's, got the... The crafty the bag. Yeah. No, he's more of a computer bag. <laughs> <That's what I'm laughs> <thinking>. Pokemon. <laughs> <laughs> I've grown up with Pokemon as well. <laughs> yeah. Same with me. I think it's just moving on generations now. Pokemon. Yeah. I, I can see new people getting into it, and it's uh, yeah, it's coming back. Pokemon crafting. We haven't seen a lot of that. I have seen some of that online. People do paper craft where they make the little characters. Yeah, sort of characters, sort of three D characters with stuff like that. I've seen cross stitch. Cross stitch as well, yeah. I've seen. Yeah. Wow. It's nice when pop culture overlaps with yeah. craft sometimes. Do you know? It's quite cool. It's a nice roof. This is a oh, nice. Uh, this love is the our head does. I love that there. image. That's going to be me. Well, it probably is already. <laughs> 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 that is fab. Oh, no. no, that's a good one. Give that to my yeah. That's a good one for you, my gran. I think she like that. I'm not as old as your gran. No, that's it. I didn't. I didn't say you look like it. I didn't say you look like it though, did I? You're the one who said that. I should have said no. That looks nothing like you. That's a nice card for my gran. Always ends up like this. Stitch, oh. stitch up. Oh dear. That's lovely, uh, Monica. 
It's just those circle trellis. Yeah, no. And our papers in the background. Like the you haven't told us it was for Monica. Yeah, let us know. Put put in the um the messages yet whenever you do. Let us know who it's for. This is a nice one. I like it's the lovely. Le the layers. Is that a matte layer? Because it's that would be a matte layer. Yes, but the, probably the white is is the background card on there. The so the the yellow polka dot would be a layer. Oh, okay, the yellow put yeah, at the back. Uh, what? Oh, okay. So oh, I was actually looking on. So that's just it's just layering. So overlapping those in the middle. That's just layering generally. That's layering. Okay. Matte and lame tends to be the same shape that you, you lay on top of each other. Oh, okay. I got you. Yeah. yeah, another nice technique one. again today. Yeah, yeah. Are they crystal drops? They might be. They look like pearls. To or me. pearls. A little bit of glittering on the candles. Bit of glittering. Try and get the. Page up. No, it's That's not lovely. Another fab card. So, so it's been a busy bee. Yeah. With our happy birthday. What's that one? A window card, is it? Or that something? is a gatefold card. Gatefold card. Okay. Yeah. That's a new one. I don't think we've I had that one. I haven't seen many gatefold cards. No, you've got to be very particular with your gatefold card, but they actually meet. <laughs> yeah, I can in imagine. The they, they're and not. then you go up a little bit and down a little bit, so you trim a bit off. I've been got, there and done that. <laughs> for doors or, you know, if you're doing a card related to like a door, like a yeah. castle card, I don't know, something like that. That's <laughs> Work these, well with the gatefold. These are our stamp and die, die butterflies. Yeah, on yeah, the yeah. Side. That's lovely, so. It goes nice like to happy birthday in the that. middle, yeah. And another gingerbread house and our little sweet nothing Sweet nothing envelope. envelopes, yeah. That's nice great. little present there for the 21st. Yeah, it is nice. What did you put in the gingerbread What did you put house? in there? You I'd say it's more, us. if you're 21, I don't know, it's more like, I'd say, Something we say Lindor every time. It's key uh, to the door, isn't it? Key to the door, that's maybe a key, key to the door. the key to the door. The key to the door, yeah. There we are. Maybe, um, yeah, but you could do it for like a house warming or something. Oh, yeah, some, new something house. like a new house, something yeah. like that. Yeah, I haven't seen that, yeah. Here's a Gosh, few Carolyn's cards. got a street here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they are lovely. Yeah, I like All the little gingerbread houses. She's done them opening from the top, so she obviously yeah. planned on to put in something in there. Something yeah. nice. It's for our niece's birthday party. Oh, that's good, yeah. Oh, like so sort of they're going to be goodie bags. I went to uh, my nephew's birthday the other day and they had party bags, but this kind of thing for... for it's little, perfect. Yeah, for a little girl, old boy. You know, it's nice and they've got for something her. to play with then as well. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's nice to, to keep stuff like that as well afterwards. It's just. Birthday invites. Oh, wow, invites. Been busy today. <laughs> yeah. Arm These tired. Yeah, I bet it is. <laughs> Unless she's got an electronic surprised. machine. This is our sweet nothings. That's gorgeous. Yeah. I love the design. Oh, so you've got. There you go. I can see it better now. I can see, see the, the envelopes. You've got the envelopes the and you've got and the, the, cards on, the, front. And the cards. Yeah. The yeah. envelope paper was sent to a pearl. Oh yeah, okay. Oh yeah, yeah. I can see that's yeah. yeah. It's nice to have a compo. Yeah, look, almost really nice. good for wedding invites. That was as well. Oh, you would see they'd be perfect. You'd want to go to that wedding. I definitely. got a, like on the Pinterest. We we've got a few boards um, on there. I think the, one of the boards on there is like a wedding inspiration. So sometimes I go through the Pinterest and I'll see some cards which you guys have uploaded to Pinterest on your own. I, I tend to pin them onto the board <laughs> if I if I see a tonic tonic dye involved. So some of these I might have pinned. I might have pinned them already. But um, yeah, I really like that, Becky. That's lovely. Have a good party. Yeah. Oh, this is lovely as well, Katie. Can't get th this is another fab can't get invitation. Your oh, that's a nice one, Katie. I said that's what I when people use pictures and things. I said of that. Yeah. That I think eighteenth birthday card I remember, and they had you know face on some pictures there. I, I always loved that card. It uh, makes it so personal, then, doesn't it? It's nice. It's like a rattle, isn't it? Like a rattle yeah. with a. With christening on the bottom. Have you? Is that stamped the christening bit? I think so. <laughs> I think it is. That's nice. And the, uh, I love the, the idea pills. of that. And a ribbon. Very clever. And the glass mat. I love the, oh, love the glass mat. Oh, that's lovely. <laughs> that really is lovely. That's nice. Can you christen the day on Saturday? Yeah, I hope it, it all went well. All went on to that's September. September. You've got time to go. Oh, You're there right. we go. You prep. Don't spoil it. Yeah, they say don't spoil the... <laughs> they've probably all been sent out now because they're invited to the christening. Oh, there we go. Yeah, So they've all course. gone now, haven't they? That's lovely. 
and Jenny. And Jenny's with it. You've been busy with your gingerbread houses. And the trees. I like the little door opening as yeah, well. Yeah, I like the door opening and the tree. Looks like you've done a 3D tree as well. Yeah, over 3D there, Jenny. tree. I haven't seen that one yet, I don't think. That's lovely. There they are go. so cute. There we go. Oh, we got them open. So you've got a bit some open. Some from the oh, top. and one from the side. Oh, so that's no, the we three. Haven't done, we haven't done any like that. I haven't seen one open from the side. I don't think it. No, that's the first I've seen that like that one. I have to let people know. You know, guys, I know you're all so friendly on the group. If any of you say you are watching and you want to join, you know, not sure on the technique. We can do our best sometimes to work yeah. them out, but you guys, you, you, you guys know. know just as much. So you know, if you just let them know, or you know, ask each other, you know, and you know, look after each other on the group. That's lovely, beautiful Jenny. There we go. And this one we saw. Wow. Another one from Amanda. Amanda. This would be one. Yeah. This is a busy one. Nice thirty. But yeah. fabulous. Yeah. Looks like whoever's birthday is for is a, is a cheerleader. Yeah, yeah. Well, it's, it's a good. Happy birthday wish to 13 years old. It's got lots of like the 3D. It almost does look 3D when it's, it does. it's standing on. It does. That's that, at the back because I will keep safe dies. That's a double easel. Double easel. Oh, because you've got the other two. You've got the two there. But they, you know, will keep safe frames at yeah. the back. This could be a layering as well. Yeah, I think it's yeah, a layering. Could that's be. a layering. I'm wondering if it's our. Um, Pinhole ones because it looks like it's got little holes going around it. Yeah, I, yeah, I could it does. Be wrong. Yeah, it might be wrong. I could be wrong. But again, it's got ribbon. There you go, and a bit of ribbon. Ribbon and bows. <laughs> and balloons. What more could oh, a girl want? I'll shut the window because I think there's. That's I don't know whether hard. you're getting a bit of background noise. We got. Whoa. There we go. <laughs> there we go, back. All right. Yeah, yeah. Any luck on your work? I don't, I'm just really trying to get onto the page. I don't know whether, oh, it's, I've, it's no doubt because you're all on there and it's, it's, uh, we will have a look at all, all, all we'll, the comments We'll go through all the comments on Friday. I often struggle to get through everyone's nice comments anyway. So yeah, I'll, we'll I'll, have a look later. I'll do my best. We'll comment yeah, on them there. The I think this is the last one, yeah, from, uh, this is Sabine. The from the last week. So we might have missed it. Same from that. That's it. This is a chalkboard dies. What is, is what, what type of paper is that? Is that a card? It sort of looks like, Almost I looks like fabric it's a almost. And is it pattern. is it shadowed? I think it is because there's white behind it. Yeah. So I think it's a white layer and then it's the patterned layer. That is lovely. Yeah, it looks good. Okay. Yeah. I think uh, that's all. And that's, that's it. So and that's what Sean today. says. It's, it's uh, You have so sent some fabulous cards. Great cards in again, this everyone. Week. Well done. Well done. Thanks guys. Um yeah, so if if you did want to watch you know, if you did want to upload any cards so, so you've shown this card you want to see your card shown there's loads of good cards there um just log on to the tonic live chat page we'll put it in the comments we'll, we'll put, type it in later I haven't got access to those at the moment but what we'll do is uh is we'll put them in the comments and uh and and just do that but all you have to do is just ask to join the page we'll accept it and we, you can upload your cards there um we'll just check because i think the <laughs> few technical difficulties try, try the, the top cam again sean there we go if you turn the i think it's the, the light outside just doing it. Um, I'll announce it's the competition. So we drew the competition um, to winner from from one of the cards we saw earlier, and the one and the winner was Justine. So Justine, you uploaded well so Justine. many cards. So this week it's inevitably going to be uh, <laughs> so, yeah, your turn. But uh, yeah, Justine, you win uh, some crystal drops. So I know you've probably got all the crystal drops. So in fact, um, you can have a spare. Yeah, drop me some email. Uh, drop me um, say a message either on Crafty or Wine or on the Facebook page, and just let me know which eight you'd like. In fact, you know, so we usually send eight is about a mug full. So so let me know which ones, and I'll get all those sent out. So yeah, me and Al are gonna do. You can have a little play, you mean? Yeah, I'll play with the to the pens and pieces. I'll take my notes and I'll okay. move them over. What I've done today is just a quick little play I've done. We've been doing some flowers. So these flowers are all from our beautiful blooms. I'm just wondering, are we going up or are we going? There we go. I'll, I'll show them in this. I'll show them here. This is the best one. There, there we are. Go. So what we've got for there is one of our beautiful blooms. And I've just used our Nouveau pens on it. We did them just before the show. So, they're a so <laughs> the scent is really The drops wet. are still wet. <laughs> so I won't hold them too vertical. But there you go. You so they're various shapes out of the beautiful blooms and i will show you how i've created them now there we go i think the black but it gives a good raised yeah you know, 
like a All right. center of a So I'm going to move these out because we're going to share the glass mat. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'll get move my... these out of the way. You have to earn your own glass mat here, a tonic. <laughs> you don't just... Uh, I know. Don't just give glass mats to anyone. No, but I'll share with you. Yeah. So you were going to make one like this yellow one there. Okay. So what you're going to do to start with, I don't care which pattern you have. That one, that one yeah, that's good. Start off with, have I pinched your pens? Uh, got yellow pens for there? Yeah, I've got to go nice yellow there. pens, yeah. So the two yellow pens we've got is 405. 405 and 403. Um, these are the Nouveau pens. You know, we'll put the code up. These are all in the same pack. So you get three different shades of yellow yeah. in the pack. Yeah. I've got and I have got, I'm going to have to glasses off, I'm afraid. I've actually got 377 and 381. And they're in the red pack. In the red pack, yeah. And I've also got a blender pen. Yeah, blender pen. I got my blender pen, and that's in the in the in the other pack. Then, so we'll put all the codes once again. I know it's difficult to follow sometimes, but uh, we'll put all the codes in the description so you guys can catch up. So what we're going to do? We're going to do it a little bit different. So if if you take the lightest colour and for your two yellows, so that's that one. So the lightest colour is the lower number. Yeah. And then you're just going to colour all over it for starters. Cool. Now what I'm going to do as well, I'm going to show you two techniques but together. So I'm going to scribble a little bit onto the glass mat. The pens tend to dry a little bit lighter than you see in them. So what I've got, no, I don't want that, I want my blender. So my blender pen is the one with the grey top and that comes in a set with a black pen and a grey colour. So I'm just making sure that my pen nib is clean and I'm just scribbling. Was this my blender pen? That's your blender pen. It's on the other, is it on the other side? Oh no, it's my blender pen. That's it, it's the one with the grey top. There we go, it says That's blend what tells on the you end, different. right? Okay. okay, so what I'm going to do, you can do a little bit with yours Should as I well. So I do my darker colour? Put right? your darker colour, is that your darker one? Yeah, four or five, scribble four that five. onto there. Yeah. And we're going to pick up a little bit of the pen. Yeah. And just go from the inside. You need the thinner end because you're going to have really chunky lines okay. otherwise. I don't know whether Sean can show this more, this nearer cam. We'll see. He's probably on the better side. And all I'd say call the other cam. I don't know whether it shows so well. Yeah, you're probably better off. But I just just go back to the top one. John, there you go. Cool. That's all I'm doing. I'm I'm no perfection. You know, I'm not that good at so what, um, going pens. From the from centre, centre out. out. And I'm just doing short little strokes. Quite quite quickly. Just bend my flower. It doesn't matter, because you're gonna shape it after anyway. And just keep picking up your colour from your mat. I'll show you the colour it would have been if I'd taken it straight from the pen because you tend to get a lighter colour. So if you like colouring with lighter colours and you think, oh, I wish they were a bit lighter in the set, then do it this way and you will get a lighter colour. So that's all I'm doing is continuing. There's no skill to this, I'd be quite honest about it. <laughs> Don't hold your pen down on top of it like that. That's yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go, because you get a spot on it. You then. do, you do. It takes the colour back. If you do want spots on it, then do that. Oh, there we go, yeah. I'm just going to take all that out. And whenever you feel you want darker lines, then just put a little bit more. Put them closer. Done. Yeah, yeah, I will do it now. Uh, oh, here we go, yeah, I get you. So you right. use a little bit more then when you a want A little bit more when you want a darker line. Okay. So I kind of run up to mine now. That will dry slightly different because. I can show mine, there we go. Alright. So, kind of daffodil, it gives a daffodil sort it of does. look on my one. It does. And Alice is more of, you can name the flower guys, I think. I don't know. I don't what know the what that. Is. So, I'm sure there's some gardeners out there. There we go. If I want a little bit more colour, then just take it from the centre. So, if you take your dark yellow again. Yeah, yeah. 
and I don't even think I've got a centre that well. And do some shorter and some longer strokes. Add a couple more if you want to. I see. And it makes it, it's kind of like a bit of a pansy face then to me. It's not, you know, it doesn't look like a pansy flower. Oh, I think right. yours is better again. <laughs> there we go. There's, there's my, my attempt. I suppose you could have left it as it was. I think mine's better. You could better have left as it, it was. as it was. But it's going to dry and right it's going to mix in. No, oh, thank you, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> to shape the flowers, then, I like to do a little bit of shaping on mine. So I trim, just trim a little bit into the petals because it gives you a little bit more movement. Oops, as I throw it away. Hang on. I've got drops here today. Right, so there's the scissors. And um, what I'm going to do then... You tell mine? You can do that with yours. How far do you go in towards the centre, just? Just leave it so the centre, you've got you've got about a, cent, a centimetre left in the centre. Okay. If you go too far, your petals will drop off. I don't want that. No, you don't. And then I'm just going to curl them on an embossing tool. There we go. So get in there. You could do this with our mat that comes in your embossing set. And then for the centre then, just put it in the centre of your hand and just roll the board tool around the middle. And that will open up your flower. Or you can just curl them with your fingers. Okay. Oh, you guess what, what do you do? You okay. You can't just, show me again. Or you can do it with the scissors. I'll show you with this as well. Yeah, yeah. So there's lots of ways. You know, like you do curling ribbon. And you just hold your scissors underneath and pull. And that will curl all your petals then. Awesome. Leave You're on about me. curling ribbon. I know, we the were, day, yeah. yeah. We were saying we were going to do a demo, but I think you said, let's not. <laughs> 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 I, I walk into Alison's room, our friends like, I got, a, got it. Brilliant idea for a technique. Everyone's going to love Curling ribbon. She's like, I don't know. It's kind of, kind of two second job that is. So I don't know why. I don't know how how we're gonna make that into any content. But yeah. But that's the you know that's the creative process, isn't it? You well, know? exactly, exactly. So I've got some little drops now just to go in the centre. So I'm gonna put a big blob of our. What colour is this? I'm not sure because I think I've got the wrong colour on there because mine says silver lining. And um, this is our pink, our dark pink. And I'm just going to double tip it. Once so, again, guys, I'm just going to say, sorry I'm looking through your comments today. We're trying to get to the internet, whatever it isn't working, to, to show us the chat. Hopefully we're live, and if you, hopefully we're live and you can hear yeah. us. If, if not, well, hopefully. If we, not, we we've, can't, so we've missed it's you not all. tough. But uh, you, you'll be able to catch up later on as well. Oh, there we go. So okay, do so you've done two. That? So yeah, I've yeah. done two colours there. Yeah, done two colours, one on top. There I could go. add a third if I oh, I like um, that. Have you done yours? I haven't done mine yet. So. We'll do yours now. Okay, so we could put a little bit of white as well in the centre. And that will set the Okay. It looks like an eyeball now. It does look like an eyeball. <laughs> like a pink looks eyeball. Good. Okay, so what we're going to do with yours now, just to make it the centre a little bit rounder, take your ball tool and just roll it around the middle. So you sit in in the palm of your hand. Yeah. And just go round with it. All right. Yeah, yeah. Let me have a go. Let I think go. maybe the base is a little bit too big. Yeah. So I didn't cut in deep enough. No. Okay. You need to cut a little bit. Further. So when you said cut into a centimetre and I left four yeah. centimetres. <laughs> not quite. Though. Maybe one. I and thought a it quarter. was just general advice. You know, just general advice. Do not just. Just one and a quarter. So one you're going to do your draw. Yeah, yeah. Let's go. How did we do this before? So you just don't touch it to the bottom, was it? No, hold it just a little bit above. And then pull away. And squeeze, yeah. Oh, I touched the bottom. Don't matter, don't worry. That's not really centre either. Go on, Make I'll try it a little bit bigger. Yeah, a little bit bigger. I suppose. No. There we go, yeah. I like that, you can see my, you should be able to see mine. There we go. Yeah, it looks there good. There we are, that's like lovely. That. Yeah. 
Please for that. That reminds me of um oh what are they called? Black eyed Susie. Oh yeah. That's the name of the I've never heard that. I've <laughs> never heard of <laughs> Black eyed Sally. Black <laughs> It's a, it's a flower. Mustang, Mustang Susie. Mustang Susie. That's all. And that's our quick little demo for this week. Awesome. Could, could you put these on, stand them on, how would you make like a stalk? How would you make a, a stalk? Probably a pipe cleaner. A pipe cleaner on there. Like they yeah. used to be popular. Blue Peter when I was growing up. Yes. Pipe, pipe cleaners with a, with a one back then. Tracy I'm sure Island. you would have cut a strip off a plastic bottle then. That's what, yeah, that's what, <laughs> sticky back plastic was the thing, wasn't it? That's it. But yeah, I right, hope that... Uh, I hope you enjoyed that little technique uh, with me and Alison. Um, yeah, again, once again, sorry I didn't get through the the, the the comments. I'll actually reply to them later on. So when I get back to the back to the office now, we'll go through them and, and reply to any questions that you had. Um, competition winner once again, yeah, Justine uh, Pirmain. You won some crystal drops, so drop me a message uh, in in the message section. Um, and that's, that's pretty much it for this week. You know, thanks again. Wonderful comments all week. You know, thank you so much again. Yeah. Thanks for uploading all your cards. Your cards are great again. Another strong week for cards. Um, we'll be back next week at. 3 p.m. on Wednesday for another Tonic Live where we'll do more tutorials with Alison. Alison will make a card and we'll do some other stuff. And Dan's, um, and Dan's back. So <laughs> if you dislike the camera working this week and you weren't so happy with it, then Dan, <laughs> Dan is back. Dan the man is back. Team Dan, Team Sean. Uh, you know, you decide. Uh, but yeah, so all, all back next Wednesday. So once again, yeah, thanks for an awesome week, guys. And, and, and we'll see you soon, all right? Bye. Ciao.